you've probably seen Odo's incredible videos featuring Adobe Firefly, Microsoft Designer and Canva AI generating mind-blowing images. But are those AI-powered text-to-image generators really that good? Well, today is our lucky day. I've managed to gain access to both Adobe Firefly and Microsoft Designer. So today we're going to put them head-to-head -head using ChatGPT prompts and see which AI tool truly reigns supreme. To make things even more interesting, we'll throw Canva AI into the mix, which is a more widely accessible text-to-image generator. The stage is set for an epic showdown, but who is going to win? Let's find out. To spice things up, we won't be using just any random prompt. Instead, we'll dive into a real-life scenario involving an online shop that needs striking images for their social media posts and brand awareness campaigns on Facebook. We're going to use Softly, a dog toy company I created in a previous video about using the pencil tool for logo design. By the way, if you haven't watched it yet, you can check it out here. In this video, Softly is on a quest for attention-grabbing images for their social media and Facebook ads. Let's see if Adobe Firefly, Microsoft Designer and Canva AI have what it takes to rise to the challenge and deliver mind-blowing results. Before we dive into the battle, let's briefly introduce each contender. Adobe Firefly is Adobe's new tool which harnesses the power of artificial intelligence to bring creative ideas to life. The better version of Firefly focuses on digital imaging, illustration, social media graphics and more. Currently, we have only three features available for test. A text image generator, text effects and vectors recoloring. Adobe is committed to developing generative AI responsibly and is currently trained on a data set of Adobe Stock along with openly licensed work. Today, we're going to focus only on the text to image generator. Microsoft Designer is a similar AI based web tool from Microsoft designed to create images and graphics based on textual input. It's currently also in beta version. What sets it apart is DALI 2, a type of artificial intelligence by OpenAI that allows you to create images by entering a text description of what you want, similar to Adobe Firefly's text to image generator. So that's what we're going to test out today. And last but not least, we have Canva's new AI text to image generator, which Canva introduced recently. It allows Canva users to quickly turn text descriptions into images. With its seamless integration across Canva's experience, users can edit and customize images with other graphics and animation options. Now that you know our competitors, let's set up the battle. We'll provide each tool with the same three prompts related to the e-commerce shop for dog toys. We'll then compare the images they generate based on three factors, creativity, accuracy, and overall image quality. Let's get started. Let's have ChatGPT come up with three diverse prompts for our experiment. The first prompt should present a creative concept for a soft dog toy. The second should show a person and a dog sharing a delightful moment. And the third one should highlight fascinating and creative images of the dog. Now that we have our prompts ready, let's kick off this challenge. So for the first round, our prompt is as follows. Create an image featuring a soft dog toy designed as a colorful, cuddly octopus with eight floppy tentacles, each containing a gentle squeaker. The octopus is wearing a small pilot's hat and goggles, giving it a playful, adventurous vibe. Let's paste the prompt into Adobe Firefly, Microsoft Designer and Canva and see what we'll get. When it comes to creativity, Firefly actually did a pretty good job and included all elements mentioned in our prompt. However, some of the images don't really look like toys, so we're taking away one point for accuracy. Other than that, the results are pretty impressive and we have an overall score of 8 points. Moving on to Microsoft Designer. Those images actually look like toys, but in some of them, the two tried to combine a dog and an octopus, resulting in a very unusual combination. 
combination. Overall, the quality is not as good as Fireflies, so we're taking one point away in each section, resulting in an overall score of six points. And finally, let's look at the results from Canva. Unfortunately, Canva did not include all the elements we wanted in any of the images. The accuracy is not great and some of the images are slightly pixelated, so we're giving one point for each section, resulting in an overall score of three points. So based on our criteria, the winner of round one is Adobe Firefly. Moving on to the second round, our prompt is as follows. Design a photo depicting a joyful dog owner and their dog having a picnic in a sunlit park. The owner is playfully tossing a furry frisbee while the dog is leaping into the air to catch it with a big smile. Let's paste our second prompt into our text to image generators and hope for the best. Wow, I was not prepared for the results we got. Let's start with Adobe Firefly. Although the tool has included all the elements from the prompt, the faces on the people and the dogs are inaccurate and look like something from another planet. There isn't much creativity going on and the overall image quality is not great. As a result, we're giving Firefly one point for creativity, two points for accuracy because it has included all needed elements despite the poorly execution and only one point for overall image image quality. The faces and the bodies in some of those images look so bad that we won't be able to use them without extensive photoshopping. Firefly gets an overall score of 4 points. Moving on to Microsoft Designer. The tool has created a nice sunny atmosphere showcasing the sunlit park in a cozy way. But again, the faces are still inaccurate although slightly better than the results from Firefly. The overall image quality could be improved as well, so I'm taking away one point in each section, resulting in an overall score of six points. Finally, let's see what Canva has to offer. Unfortunately, again, none of the images include all the elements we wanted, some only feature dogs and some don't even have a frisbee or a person. So I give it zero points for accuracy. Some of the photos are pixelated and blurry as well, resulting in zero points for overall image quality. However, we'll give it one point for creativity since it tried to recreate the sunny park atmosphere from the prompt. So the overall score for Canva Canva is just one point. In this round, the results were not impressive. None of the tools did great, however, Microsoft Designer emerged as the winner with a score of six points. And now for the final round, we have the following prompt. Generate an image of a dog wearing sunglasses and a fluffy bandana lounging on a beach with a toy in the shape of a tropical drink beside it. The scene is set during a beautiful sunset with the ocean waves gently lapping the shore. Now let's paste our last prompt and see how each tool will perform. Starting with Adobe Firefly, the tool has actually done an impressive job in this round and has generated creative images that include all the elements from our prompt. As a result, we are giving Adobe Firefly 3 points each for creativity and accuracy. However, some of the images look more like digital art than photos, so we are taking away 1 point for overall image quality. The overall score for Adobe Firefly is still an impressive 8 points. Moving on to Microsoft Designer. Most of the elements from this prompt are included, but most of the images show the tropical drink and the toy as two separate objects rather than united as one object as we required in the prompt. So I'm taking away one point for accuracy. In terms of creativity, all the dogs look pretty similar and the images lack the realistic and sharp quality of Firefly's creations, so I'm taking away one point for creativity and one point for overall image quality. Microsoft Designer still did a good job and gets an overall score of six points. And finally, let's look at the results.
from Canva. We do have some great dog photos and beautiful atmosphere, but again, none of the photos has all required elements from the prompt. So unfortunately, we have to give zero points for accuracy and one point for creativity. Some photos are blurry, leading to a score of one point for overall image quality and a total score of two points in this round. So the winner in this round, based on our criteria, is Adobe Firefly. After three rounds of intense competition, it's time to reveal our champion. With a total of 20 points, Adobe Firefly takes the top spot, impressing us with its overall creativity and accuracy. Microsoft Designer comes in at a close second with a total of 18 points, while Canva lags behind with a total of only 6 points. The results are in and Adobe Firefly has emerged as the clear winner of this exciting showdown. But let's take a moment to discuss the strengths and weaknesses of each tool. Starting with Canva. Canva has the advantage of allowing commercial use for images generated by its AI tool. The tool is accessible for anyone with a Canva subscription. And there are some good customization options when it comes to the prompt. However, as you have seen, it doesn't always produce high quality images and it may not provide the best results for more complex tasks. Moving on to Adobe Firefly, one of the biggest pros is that the tool is currently trained only on a dataset of Adobe Stock and openly licensed work, which provides transparency and doesn't utilize all available images online like some other tools do. The tool generates high quality images and graphics and it does provide the most customization options when it comes to the prompt. However, it's still in beta version and is not available to everyone. The images cannot be used for commercial purposes at the moment and it may cost more in the future. And finally, Microsoft Designer. Microsoft Designer uses DALI, which provides good results and overall good quality images. However, it's also still in beta version, so it's not available for everyone and it has no customization options whatsoever besides, of course, adjusting the prompt. Keep in mind that the perfect tool for your specific needs and preferences may vary. So choose one that suits your creative needs the best. And there you have it, our exciting battle between Adobe Firefly, Microsoft Designer and Canva AI has come to an end. I hope this comparison has helped you understand the differences and capabilities of those text-to-image generator tools when it comes to real-life examples. So, which tool has sparked your curiosity? Are you planning to give one a try? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out any future videos. If you're looking for free design and e-commerce resources, be sure to check my my website at albanador.design and go to the resources page. You will find a link to the freebies in the description box below. And if you have more time, you can watch this video on how to use ChatGPT for logo design. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.